Binary numbers usually are strings of ones and zeros and each of these digits are known as bits. So if we have a number, let's say 1000001, it's an 8-bit number because there are 8 digits. And normally the binary number, when you look at it, it's usually, if it is not otherwise specified, it's an unsigned number, that's it's a positive number. But when we want to express a negative number using binary number, we, we resort to a kind of representation which is called signed signed representation now signed number representation basically so when we have signed number representation for expressing negative number or positive number or let's say negative number as well there are two kind of two kinds of representation one is signed magnitude so we will call it signed magnitude representation uh, MAG I'm just writing and the other one is signed complement representation so that's complement representation I'm just writing COMP so then again in signed complement there are two kinds one is ones complement and the other one is twos complement representation so this is how we represent negative numbers so first I will talk about signed magnitude we will later see that signed comp uh, signed complement in terms of two's complement is the mostly used one but first i will talk about signed magnitude representation so in signed magnitude representation if we talk about a seven bit binary number let's say it let's write it like this four b three b two b one and b zero so that's an eight bit number the left most bit or the most significant bit is res reserved for the sign representation so when this is zero this bit is zero the number is a positive number and when this is one so this is a positive number and when this is one this is a negative number and the remaining seven bits are used to represent the number so if we look at this number if it is if it were an unsigned number just as a as a as an ordinary binary number this one the equivalent decimal is 137 we can just calculate and the result is 137 however if this is a signed magnitude representation number then this this particular bit is reserved for sign and this is one so this is becoming negative and the remaining seven bits will represent the number so with the remaining seven bits it's nine so the number becomes minus nine so if we have a number 1000001 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, in terms of sign magnitude representation this is equivalent to minus 9 while if it were a unsigned if it were an unsigned number it would be 137 so that's sign magnitude representation it's pretty simple we just look at the most significant bit check whether it's plus or uh, sorry sorry whether it's 1 or 0 if 1 this is a negative number if this is 0 this is a positive number so with a with a sign magnitude representation if this was zero let's say this number is all let's write it again if this was like this one zero zero one and if we call it a sign magnitude representation this is just nine eight bit sign magnitude representation that is nine now when we come to signed complement representation it is nothing but just finding the complement of the number so if we have plus 9 and if we want to express it in terms of ones complement uh, signed ones complement representation it becomes here 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 that's the ones complement representation and that's the negative 9 so this is negative 9 in terms of ones complement representation ones complement I'm just doing COM and we, when we say two's complement we just find the two's complement of this number and we express it so this is one zero uh, this will become one this will so the first one is not changing I am going from the left to the right sorry from the right to the left in the direction in, in the left direction and this is the first one I do not change the remaining all the bits I change so it becomes 0 here and then 1 1 1 1 so basically 4 ones, 0 1 1 1 so that's negative 9 in terms of 2's complement representation so we are getting very different uh, 
binary strings of uh, bits here depending on the kind of representation so when we say minus 9 or minus whatever in terms of binary it's very important what kind of representation it is it is so if it's a sign magnitude representation the min uh, the negative 9 negative 9 will just look like this 1001 0, 0, 1. so only this bit is changed we start with this number and only this bit is changed for sign magnitude representation so this is signed this is our original sign magnitude positive 9 this is positive 9 this is signed magnitude negative 9 only this bit is changed this particular bit and everything else is same so that's negative 9 and when once compl signed uh, complement once complement representation signed once complement representation this is negative 9 which is actually the once complement of this total this whole number and signs two uh, signed two com two's complement representation is just the two's complement of the number so these are the kinds so usually sign magnitude representation is used for normal arithmetic but for computers for representing negative numbers usually the signed two's complement uh, representation is used for expressing the negative number negative all the negative numbers basically so i will do another example let's say i want to express uh, number 5 in 8 bit signed magnitude representation uh, signed magnitude representation minus 5 sorry minus 5 i want to express in signed magnitude representation in signed two's com once complement representation and signed two's complement representation representation so first i do signed magnitude signed magnitude so initially i express the number in term the positive 5 so this will be positive 5101 is yes, 8 bit representation signed so for signed in terms of signed magnitude representation negative 5 will become like this 234 and then 101 that will be negative 5 in terms of signed magnitude in terms of one's complement it will become complement it will become I am looking at this one and finding the complement so it is uh, one 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 so basically five ones and then this and then when you when I do two's complement it will become the one will stay there and everything il else will change so basically just one added with this one but yeah with this one so I will erase that one so this is the two's complement representation of negative 5. This is one's complement, signed one's complement representation. So everywhere there's signed, signed, signed. And this is signed magnitude representation of my negative 5.